Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Adam, and today in baseball history, I'm going to be telling you how baseball originated in Venezuela. So let's get started. Last year, there were 68 Venezuelan-born players on an MLB team's opening day roster. That is the second most out of any foreign country behind only the Dominican Republic. So how did this happen? Let's find out. It all starts at the end of the 1910s and beginning of the 1920s when American immigrant workers from the exploding oil industry in Venezuela introduced baseball to the Venezuelan people. After that happened, baseball started becoming more and more popular, but the definitive explosion was in 1941 after the worldwide championship in Havana when the national team beat Cuba in the finals. That started baseball's popularity boom, which caught the attention of the owners of Cerveceria Caracas, Sabios de Vargas, Navegantes del Magallanes, and Patriotas de Venezuela, who on December 27, 1945, created the Venezuelan Professional Baseball League, which has seen players like David Concepcion, Miguel Cabrera, and Andres Galarraga play in. Between 1980 to 1990 was when Venezuelans' participation in the MLB started becoming more common, with the number of Venezuelans in the big leagues increasing by 50%. This growth is associated with MLB's free agency costs increasing, teams needed cheaper labor, so they began searching for players in other countries, with the two main countries being Dominican Republic and Venezuela. Another reason why more Venezuelans started playing in the MLB was because of the openings of the first MLB academies, with the Astros being the first team to open an academy in 1989, and after that basically every team followed, because after a few years, every team had an academy in Venezuela. Sadly, since the beginning of Venezuela's safety concerns, teams started pulling their academies out of Venezuela. And today, MLB players are prohibited from playing in the Venezuelan League due to the economic sanctions against the country. But hopefully, in the near future, that won't be the case anymore. So, in conclusion, thanks to the fact that Venezuela has a lot of oil and a few businessmen were smart enough to see baseball's potential, baseball became Venezuela's most popular sport, producing some of the best baseball players to ever exist and a lot more still to come. That will be all for today. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you next time.